Hey guys, and finally today we're going to see the main Bigfoot. So, let me first explain the story of Bigfoot. So, there was a man and he was like uh, really kind. He would help others every time uh, ev anyone comes to him for help. So, one day he started doing meditation or tapasya and the gods were so impressed by him that they directly took him from there to the heaven. And, and the, you know, the mark of his legs are were still remaining so that place is now known as bigfoot as you can see this is the bigfoot now as we move inside we see this beautiful structure like a painting of mirabai and here is a quote that do you want to be happy then make others happy and there are like few examples of this um, sentence now moving ahead this is the longest structure in india and it is of Mirabai. And now here you can see the photo of Singham movie shoot. How can I forgot to take a picture of this cute dog? This tells us that Goa people were like very interested in keeping pets. So in this, rich people were carried to distant places. So they were so the poor people would walk, but the rich people would be carried away using this like kind of machine thing, and it was um you know held by people. Kids playing games. Goshala. It was in every home in those days. Here you can see a lady who is making baskets using leaves. Now here is a lady who would sell fish by going into homes of different people. Here are people who are making fishermen's net. This is a salt pan. Let me tell you more about it. So the salt pan. It is the river water. In here, the river water is collected in the salt pans and hot sun causes the water to evaporate, thus forming salt. It is then collected by skimming the water. So this is how the salt was made in those times. Now let me tell you more about this concept called rice per boiling. The common variety cultivated in Goa is red rice. After harvesting, it is thrashed and the paddy is dried and stored. The paddy is then par boiled in a huge copper vessel called the bhan. The par boiling is done outdoors on a chul using firewood as the fuel. The paddy is then spread out on bamboo mats for drying, which that lady was making we saw earlier. This process of par boiling lends the rice the name ukre the literal meaning of word ukre is parboiled after husking the rice gets its reddish texture red rice is rich in an antioxidants iron vitamins fiber and protein it helps in maintaining blood sugar levels as it has low starch content in it here is a fisherman and you can see he is wearing his diy raincoat here is more about him this local fisherman displays fish which he has caught with a fishing rod. He wears kondo, a traditional raincoat made of palm leaves and worn by villagers to protect themselves from the rain. Now here are fishermen who are carrying fishing net. Now from their looks and dresses as well, you can understand that one is Hindu and one is Christian. Now this is demo who would usually manage the you know money, balance, financial things of the village. Or one of those times. Kanpati collection. Water. And here are other storage materials. Next we went into the church. But photography and videography was not allowed in there. I got to know two stories about the church in there. So if you want me to tell the stories to you guys. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching the series till the end. I'll see you in my next video. Till then bye bye and Hare Krishna.